strikes again. Like it's I have so, been so good been all favorite. night. Let's Wasn't there a feud time. between the Smiths and the Cure? Yeah, liking each other. Big mouth yeah, strikes like again. O o h h h a ha. Sweetness. Sweetness. I was only joking when I said I'd yes, like sir. to smash, smash every two. Okay. So nice. What are you running into there, Billy? I'm gonna need you to. What's on my screen right now? Time to cook. Something is bugged on my screen right now. See Come this? on, Billy. Not right now. You guys don't see it, but I see it. That's gonna annoy me the whole game. I hear somebody opening a chest, okay. I wish that would get off my screen. I don't know why he's teabagging at me. I don't know, they're being weird. What are they doing? We waited all this time, you guys are just gonna play around? You know what, I notice cocky teams like, do that stuff. They'll start teabagging, acting like they're friends. And then when you cut him a break and give him some slack, then suddenly they come out of nowhere and blast through all the gems. It's in all the screens. What is that? Why do I hear them screaming like that? I'm not counting hooks. What's the difference with the yellow hooks and the red hooks? Why do I hear all this screaming? It's okay, Robert. Am I crazy? Like, I mean, I, we know I'm crazy, but does anyone else hear all this? All the screams? I don't remember hearing all the screams this loud. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Steve screams. It's so obnoxious. Step on them like ants, Billy. Yeah. Are they throwing? Why is she teabagging me? What's with these people? Screams are driving me nuts. Is this normal? Is it like continuous screaming? Does not nobody hear this with me? It's like I hear nothing but s I guess because it's just Steve's and they're giving us so many easy downs and hooks that they're just constantly yes, screaming. It's like silence of the Steve's here. A perk, but these perks are. They're doing gems, kind of. Oh, okay.
Everyone's if you like those dead. Things, screams for mercy. Let's see the screams for mercy. I'm pretty sure this team was just memeing all these thieves. The circus skin is good on Billy. Should we I feel like they should come out and play. Do we let these people go or what? Yeah, they're just memeing. At least all those Steves were. Probably a few people in there that weren't with them. It's kind of funny though, they're all dead. Except one. I feel like that all, all that wait time and that wasn't even really like a game. This isn't a way to get or play regular. Who, us? That was weird. I don't really even feel like that was a game. I feel like no. they were just being silly. King Steve. What does Steve go? That game was weird. All the screaming and everyone giving up so fast. The sound of perfection. We waited 20 minutes for a meme game. <laughs> for real though. Um, what do they mean that when you kill us all in the course? No? Don't play killer then? Are they stupid? Are they stupid? I mean, you didn't wait 20 minutes just to meme around with people. Like, they said, "Don't play killer." Then, but I'm a killer main. If I play survivor, I'm so bad. I need hacks. <laughs> if you kill me, if you play with me. <laughs> they're disowning me. We're not. It's funny. Who is the girl? I'm a robot. I'm a robot that trolling coded. Imagine you get a whole lobby full of Steves. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, uh, at least they're nice usually. Yeah, I don't care. They were just playing around. Doesn't matter to me. Really? I just think it's like. It's just the killer queue times are so bad that. I know. It's kind of like, it's like oh my god. I mean, it doesn't. Ultimately, I don't care because I do other stuff but like we had a guest coming in to play you want to do another one or not i don't know they, they said they're going to bed and like people were waiting forever there was like 50 60 people here and then half of them left just waiting for the lobby yeah, it's disrespectful at some point that they're uh, oh i don't care about the game i think it's i think it's silly if they're gonna go in and scream with steve's it's kind of funny but we can do another I'm not blaming them for anything. The only thing I was thinking was that a lot Sometimes of times. When I play against the stream after the game, I go to see the other pod footage. <sighs> see the other TV footage. So the only thing I was thinking is sometimes I'll play games where it's like people act like they're memeing, they're being silly, they're being friendly with you, and so you you lighten up yeah. and you play around with them, yeah. but then suddenly. This gen rush comes out of nowhere, and it's almost like they were. Uh, it's almost like they were tricking you into letting your guard down and going easy, so they could just have an easy gen rush. I'm not sure if that's what they're doing, but that's what it seems like sometimes. Because you're like, oh, they're not even playing, or they're giving up, or they're being friendly, and then. You're like, okay, whatever, I'm not going to hit you, I'm not going to hook you. But the other survivors are off in the background, cranking out generators. And then they teabag you. With farming? Or suddenly, they I don't know. I feel like I've gone in games before where people have acted weird like that. But then they turn out playing with the skill level of a comp team. Almost like they're being... Uh, Almost like they're rubbing it in your face, but also tricking you. But then again, like in this game, things seem like things that they're not, you know, like there are times you see a survivor teabagging at you and you think they're being toxic, but really they're just trying to be friendly and they don't understand that from your perspective, it looks like they're being toxic, but from their perspective, they're, they're saying like, Oh, hi, I love you, Billy. Like, you're my favorite killer. I'm so happy to see you. But from your eyes, Yay, it looks like... It could go both ways. You never really know what anyone's thinking. And there's so many times I tried to be nice to people in the game. And then they wish my whole family gets killed in a car crash in the end game. And I'm like, but I was trying to be nice to you. And they're like, no. No, you weren't. Yeah, right. You're trash. I wish cancer on your mother, and I hope your pet gets taken by a bird. I wish there was a way to communicate in game with the killer. Not the bird. LMAO. OMG. I hope an Hello. eagle takes your poodle and takes it high in the sky and then drops it. Eagle taking poodle is crazy. The, the, the Steve screaming, though, was kind of funny. <laughs> Possibly the most obnoxious thing I've it. ever heard. That happened to a cat in my neighborhood. Poor baby had a broken leg but survived. At Hannah, that's terrifying. Prophet, do you drink tea? At Jade Windridge, anything anyone does on this game is toxic LMAO. At I, like, I like tea, right. but I don't drink it often. Another song? So, I posted in Facebook, just to be silly, because I'm, I'm in these groups 
these DVD Another groups. I'm not really like active on Facebook. I just use it to message friends, but when I log in, it always shows me these posts At that are in groups. Stoned, sometimes it works though. And it's always like my friend. It's always people complaining or bragging. Bragging about how good they are in the game or complaining about how whatever somebody else did. And so somebody had put how like, oh, you guys take the game so serious and so toxic. And so I posted, you know, oh yeah, I was in the game the other day and um, somebody wished that my family, my whole family dies in a car crash. And people are like, yeah, it's just typical survivor mains. And then other people are like, well, so if you're the trolling Most prophet, the time you give them your item law that sometimes works, but then being friendly is boring. They're like, if you you're the trolling the prophet, so if you're the real trolling prophet, I think you I are. Then good, you. you deserve it, and no one cares what Just you say. And you're trash. And already yapping. That skin is not it. What? I'm already yapping. Oh, gee, the queue times are only like three hours. What do you want to do? Sit in silence? Just noticed nurses grippers. Right. That majestically stoned, not as it's a tombstone, you want to be friends with him. No, if you sit there and try to be friends with a tombstone. Tombstone Myers? You know what I did one time? It's in one of my shorts. One of my video yeah. shorts. One of my TikToks. Um, Weird I was the Myers. I was a, has when a Myers. To you and there was, I think it was. Creator getting hat. Was it a. Um, I have 4K hours, I know. I think it was a quentin i don't know but they were like they tried to sell their whole team out they gave me free stock and they tried to sell their whole team out they did sell their whole team out to get more aid and he was trying to get like a free pass like oh i'll tell you where everyone is i'll give you free stock you let me live sold his whole team out so i moried them all and then it was just him left and i think the chat we decided collectively that he was a terrible teammate for selling everyone out, so we moried him too. What's the double standard DVD community has when it comes to you versus another content creator? Getting that? It's just. I don't know. They think that messing around with cheats fun to make funny content is like crime of the century it's the lowest any human being could go they're like you 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 cheat in a game you're already the lowest you can go and i'm like oh well that's depressing because i was that princess i was prepping happened. i was prepping to be a serial killer but since you're telling me i'm already the lowest i can go you know barge in the stream again i was gone for a bit i don't know who's a hater and who's a fan can't tell them apart spend the same amount of time here i am your biggest hater i am a fan majestic lol It wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me z because my biggest haters usually start out by pretending to be my friends prophet was talking about how he got hate on facebook for talking about toxic killers no no i was the killer People in that game saying if he's the real prophet he deserves it Yeah, basically. But 
Sorry. The thing is, S U R V I O R S. In that game, I was playing killer two v eight mode like this. I wasn't cheating, and I was even trying to give the sable patch, but the other wraith I was playing with just ended up killing her. And then I was like, "Sorry, Sable, I wanted to give you a hatch." I was shaking my head no at Wraith, and game has a she's like, "Yeah, right." How no, you weren't. Get with DVD hacks. Hope your family dies in a car crash. I don't think every game has a hacker. I don't see him. Probably if you had to be friends with Kate Nia, you'd be oh, you mean every? I thought you meant every DVD game, but you're every match. You're talking about all games in general, right? majestically stoned easy content for dvd youtubers yeah if you had to be friends with kate or neo it'd be kate who would play music together and kiss while playing music together In my dreams with a fictional imaginary character. Prophet, you prefer cat or dog? I do not want any more pets. I've grown up with both cats and dogs. And I love both, actually. Dogs are more personal, usually. Like, cats are more moody, and they walk around like they own the house and do whatever they want, whereas dogs are more submissive and do what makes you happy. Cats are more like, you do what makes me happy. And dogs are more like, I'll do what makes you happy. I'm more allergic to cats, though. If you had to keep a pet shark for 24 hours to win $1 million, would you do it? Cats are yeah, super affectionate. Where would what? I keep it? But cats are affectionate, like, on their own terms when they want to be affectionate. Like, they, the the cats will you rub rock. up against you because it makes... I don't know, it's like, it makes them feel good or something. Like, they'll rub up against you, but it's so that, like, you're petting them. It's not that they're not affectionate, it's just all about they do what they want, it's on their terms. Yeah. Where dogs are more, like, they will obey and, and submit. And me whenever I want. But... I never had a cat before. Are they really scared of water and have attitude problems? Depends on the cat for sure. Majestic yeah, cats. Stone has every the every most every animal smell. has its own you personality, rock. so they're not all like the same. But <laughs> I like both. But I'm more allergic to cats. I have seven dogs that are buried on the side of the house. So there's a pet dogs. cemetery and I don't want any more dogs. I don't want any more pets at all. Lovely. Yo, what's up, Prophet? I am sorry about that. Majestically Stoned has the most likes now. You rock. My last dog died in my arms like about two months ago, or was it? It was in May. So a little over two months ago. I'm so May 9th. sorry. And I just don't want any more. First of all, they're Losing a huge a furry responsibility. Family member is so hard. That's they're, hard to talk about. They're a huge responsibility. Like, you can't go on vacations because you have to figure out what you're going to do with your pet. 
and obviously expensive feeding them and taking them to vets and like one vet visit could cost 500 to a thousand dollars depending on what you have to do and x-rays if your dog's sick or whatever what it's name? going through actually all the dogs names were there was there were two that were named bandit one was a doberman bandit and then there was a little like hot dog named bandit and then there was da vinci blue um there was the last one that died was buddy and there was mojo and then there was jack jack was a labrador buddy was a maltese poodle buddy oh man now i'm sad jack was such a good dog he only lived to be like nine and a half but he was friends with buddy and Jack died in 2012, and then Buddy outlived him all I the way till cash. this year. So he way yeah, outlived him. The Rainbow Bridge. Yeah, I actually do believe I'll get them back in heaven. I don't know 100%, but I, I hoped for that, and I believe that that's a really strong possibility. Lost my cat princess last year. She's why I have this name. I 100% believe that. Yeah, I just don't want to go through it anymore with them dying. But man, Jack was so good. It was like I could. Jack was Absolutely. was a Labrador. It's a black know. lab, and he was never. I never had him on a leash. So if I were on like a bike and I'm riding a bike, he would just be running alongside of me in the grass. And if we ever stopped at an intersection, he would stop, and he would wait. Until I told him to go. And then he would cross. And I could even drive in a car. And he'll run alongside me in the car. And stop at every intersection. People would pull me over and be like. Are you trying to catch your dog? Like is don't that your dog? Don't make me cry. And I'd be like no no we're chilling. Like that's how we go for a walk. Because I was too lazy to walk or run or anything. So not always. But like let's say it's late at night. And I would take him for I a ride. A I would drive around the block. And he would just run insane, alongside. But I love her. That's so cute. He was so good. You could just tell him to drop anything and he would drop it. If he was hungry, he would take his bowl and drop it on my foot. 